Hi, I'm Eden Tan, and I'm in the studio with Dazed. So I'm a designer slash tinkerer slash still trying to work out what it is I am, but you might have seen I've just done a fashion collection with lots of fabric rolls for my uh, St. Martin's graduate collection. Yeah, and this is basically my space where I'm trying to figure out what I do. So there's lots of stuff in here, not necessarily fashion related, which is helps me fill in the gaps between my different processes. Most of my work is working with waste. There's a lot of hidden fabric out there to be used. And that is often where I start, like airbags, very hidden, and then they just go to the scrap heap. This used to be this uh, fringe leather jacket. My work's about making zero waste, which is a pretty bland topic, a bit more palatable. This is, well, was my sketchbook for the project. A sketchbook is a bit too linear as a way to work for me. And so this is the best way to work where you, things can just be moved around a lot. This is one way it was gonna go, you know, just all the fabric was gonna come from the top. As the project evolves, I started thinking about it actually unrolling. I'm doing this self-indulgent project and I'm thinking how, when I'm done with it, how can someone else use it? All the fabric is on the roll. It's all together. It's undamaged, relatively. A couple of stitches here and there. It's all about limiting my interference with the material uh, as it comes off the roll. I've added to the story of that material, that object, but I haven't, the story doesn't really end with me. It can keep it can keep going. So this is the first look of the collection. Connect to the roll, one pleat, a buttonhole on the back, and it makes lovely noise. All of the off-cut waste from our graduate collection fits in that, this little jar. A lot of the texture of denim is from the washing. All of this is airbrushed on. I mean, conventional washing uses so much water and any sort of bleaching process will damage the integrity of the fabric. None of these details on here are pockets. There isn't really a back of this garment. And so once it goes past you, the illusion's kind of broken and you kind of understand that it's just a roll of fabric. Testing screws. I don't know what size they are. So this is my press. I get a lot of waste leather, off-cut leather, and the way to make it into a usable material is to standardize it into patches. And this has been used probably about 600 times. These are some bags that are in the process of being made. And then these are some bags that have been made. Around where I live, there's a lot of stuff which gets chucked out and it's just ripe for the taking. This is a pattern for this, uh, it's quite heavy. Which someone was chucking out, Mercedes logo. Name tags, shoulder pads, food for a bonsai tree, giant balloons. Uh, it is low level hoarding. The best days are probably when, I've, when I'm using tools in maybe an unconventional order. So starting with a sewing machine and ending with a spanner or whatever. I guess it's a litmus test of whether you've taken enough turnings to find somewhere new. <laughs> the conventional way to move forward would probably be to start a brand of some sort. But as a uh, cycle, it's, it forces creatives to make waste and make often make seasons which aren't as high caliber as their previous seasons because you ha the ball has to keep rolling. Social media has provided quite a good opportunity to be able to be creatively free by creating video content. And so that's probably the direction I'm looking to move in. I, I, f I just find it all pretty fun, everything I do, and hopefully that doesn't stop. I've been Eden Tan, and you've been in the studio with Days. Thank you for watching. <laughs>